Okay, so now that you've learned how to actually search the catalog, we're going to do a little exercise here uh, that will help you to do, decipher catalog records for library books. Again, when you sign into Populi, be sure to click on the Library tab. And let's say I'm going to do a search on bereavement. I'll type in bereavement and I press Enter. There's no button I need to press but the Enter button on the keyboard. I'm going to click on the second title here and I'm going to show you how the record is set up. Now this lets me know that there is a book in the library. I can tell by the type and the title is The Bereaved Parent. Uh, here I'll see the call number. Uh, we use Library of Congress call numbers which I'm going to explain in, in a later PowerPoint slide and it shows me the collection is Maine. Okay? Uh, usually for creator uh, is, is the author um, sometimes in a record you'll see creator, sometimes you'll see author, you'll see the publisher. Uh, occasionally you'll see a description which is either a summary or in this case uh, chapter headings. So these are chapter headings of this particular book. Uh, you'll also see um, the published location, the date, and down here you're going to have subjects. I'm going to discuss as well what Library of Congress subject headings are and how to use them to your advantage. But what it is is basically a standardized set of subject headings uh, and it helps us as librarians to catalog resources uh, in a way that um, makes it easier to, to search for all the resources in a particular area. Now sometimes these subject headings can be kind of awkward. Um, uh, they use some uh, really academic words to describe uh, commonplace things um, but once you learn how to use subject headings you'll be able to do a more precise search in the Populi catalog. Uh, 